Vermont rental laws outline the rules in the state regarding lease agreements and evictions. We'll examine relevant laws for standard lease agreements, month-to-month -month lease agreements, and evictions. Standard Lease Agreement A standard lease gives an overview of the terms between a landlord and tenant for the renting of property. A standard lease is commonly a one-year fixed period and is the most widely used rental contract. Month-to-month -month lease A month-to-month -month lease, also called a tenancy at will, is an agreement between a landlord and tenant that renews automatically every month and terminates upon notice by either party. In Vermont, notice must be provided by either party a minimum of 60 days prior to termination as required by law. If the tenant has occupied the property for more than two years, the landlord must grant at least 90 days notice. Required Disclosures In Vermont, there are no state required disclosures that must be included as part of the lease. However, the EPA requires that landlords provide a lead-based paint disclosure to anyone renting a property built prior to 1978. Landlord access. In Vermont, landlords are required to provide 48 hours notice before entering the property for repairs or any other non-emergency reasons, and they may only enter the property between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Security deposit laws. In Vermont, there is no maximum to what landlords can charge for security. The money must be returned to the tenant within 14 days of vacating unless the property was used seasonally, whereby the landlord has 60 days to return the deposit. Eviction laws. There are three legally accepted causes for eviction in Vermont. 14 day notice to quit with criminal activity. If the tenant is engaging in illegal or criminal activity, the landlord can issue a 14 day notice to quit, which gives the tenant 14 days to vacate the property with no option to remedy. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, the landlord can issue a 14-day notice to pay or quit. This gives the tenant 14 days to pay the rent in full along with any penalties or vacate the premises. If they do neither, the landlord may be forced to seek an eviction from the court. Non-compliance. If the tenant breaks any portion of the lease other than late rent, the landlord may give the tenant 30 days to comply with the lease or vacate the property.